Brian and Hove Albion are proud to be associated with Macmillan Cancer Support and this is Harry's story. Well, Harry was a normal, we well, can't say little boy because he's always been tall and he just liked to play football. From when he was six, he joined the local football team. He played every week for them. Uh, my earliest memory probably would be when I was mascot and we beat Yeovil Town 5-0. When you look back at the photos, you can see that he wasn't right. He looked very pale. He just didn't look right. I had uh, night sweats. Uh, I had the lump under my shoulder. And I had a few lumps in my neck. And I said to John, take him to A&E, because I knew it wasn't right. That was on the Friday. And by the Wednesday, we're in the master and have it. I've been told that it's probably Hodgkin's lymphoma. When we got back here to the house, we had to tell our daughter and Harry was in the lounge with our daughter Charlotte and Charlotte came in and said, Harry's in there, he's crying. And I went in there and said, you're right. He said, I'm scared. That's hard. That's really hard. All I can remember from treatments is getting put to sleep and laying there in the bed. I was in hospital for a year and a half, I think. I used to be in hospital on Saturday mornings. They used to give me my treatment in the mornings. And then I used to drive down about 11 to go to the match and watch it. A lot of the information I got was from Macmillan, actually. I'm hoping when the Horizon Centre's up and running that it will support people and, and it would have been really good for us, wouldn't it? It would have really helped. Yeah. Well, just to know that you're not alone, because actually it's quite a lonely place, having a cancer diagnosis.